Welcome to this spoken tutorial on getting ready for DSpace installation. In this tutorial, we will learn to install Java, Tomcat 8, PostgreSQL 10, Ant, Maven, and Git. Configure Tomcat 8 server and create DSpace database in PostgreSQL 10. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS 18.04 and gedit text editor. However, you may use any other text editor of your choice. To practice this tutorial, you need an internet connection to install the necessary packages. And you should be familiar with basic Linux commands. If not, then please go through the prerequisite Linux tutorials on this website. The minimum hardware requirements for DSpace installation is i3 processor or above, 100 GB hard disk or more, 4 GB RAM or above, and a network facility. The commands used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file before practicing. I have opened the code file in the gedit text editor on my machine and I will use the same file to copy paste the commands during the demonstration. Shortcut to paste on the terminal is shift, control and V keys. Let us begin. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on the keyboard. Ensure that you have root permissions to run the commands. First, let us create a new user account and name it as dspace. To do so, type the command sudo space add user space dspace and press enter. Immediately, we are prompted to type the admin password. So type the admin password and press enter. The process of creating a new user has begun. Here onwards, please remember to press the enter key after typing each command. The terminal will now prompt a message, enter new Unix password. Here, we have to set the password for the user dspace. I will set the password as dupass. You can give any password of your choice. Type the same password in retype new unix password. Fill the rest of the details as shown here. We have now successfully created the user dspace. Next, let us add this new user dspace to the sudo us group. By doing this, the user dspace will have full control of the system. In the terminal, type sudo space add user space dspace space sudo. Now, let us log in as user dspace. Type sudo space su space hyphen space dspace. If prompted, type the password of user dspace to login. Before proceeding further, let us update our system. To do this, type sudo space apt-get space update. If prompted, type the password of user dspace to proceed further. The updating process may take some time depending upon your internet speed. To avoid DPKG interruption errors during installation, type the following command sudo space dpkg space hyphen hyphen configure space hyphen a. Next, let us install Java Development Kit. To do so, type the following command in the terminal. The installation may take some time depending upon your internet speed. 
We have now successfully installed JDK. Next, we will verify the installed JDK version. To do so, type java space hyphen version. In the terminal, we can see open JDK version 1.8.0 underscore 242. 0 underscore 242 in the open JDK version is the release number, which may be different in your case. If the JDK version other than 8 is installed, then remove it. For example, if JDK version 11 is installed, then type the command as shown. Switch to the terminal. DSpace resource packages have to be pulled from the git repository using the git tool. So let us install the git tool. To do so type the command as shown here. Now let us install an Apache Maven which is used to build DSpace source code. To do so type the command as shown here. Next we will install an Apache Ant tool which is used to install DSpace. To do so, type the command as shown. Next, let us install Tomcat 8. To install Tomcat, type the command as shown here. Next, we have to create a DSpace security policy. This will provide all Java security permissions to DSpace. Type the command as shown to open a new policy file in gedit text editor. You can do this in your editor as well. A new file opens in the text editor. Type dspace security policy as shown here. You can copy paste this piece of code from the code file as demonstrated here. Now save and close the file. We are back on the terminal. To provide ownership of DSpace security policy to Tomcat, type the command as shown. To permit access of DSpace to Tomcat 8, we have to add the Tomcat 8 user to DSpace user group. To do so, type the command as shown here. To permit access of Tomcat 8 to DSpace, we have to add the dspace user to tomcat8 group. To do so, type the command as shown here. Now restart tomcat server to update the changes. To do so, type the command as shown here. Next, we'll install PostgreSQL, which is used as a database for dspace. Type the command as shown in the terminal to install PostgreSQL. Next, we have to restrict the database to be accessed by trust method only. To do that, we have to change peer MD5 and ident to trust. To change database permissions from peer to trust, type the command as shown. To change database permissions from MD5 to trust, type the command as shown here. To change database permissions from ident to trust, type the command as shown. We have to restart PostgreSQL to update the changes we just made. To do so, type the command as shown here. Now, we will create a dspace user in PostgreSQL database. Type this command as shown in the terminal. Set a password for user dspace for the database. I will set the password as dbuserpass. You can give any password of your choice. Retype the same password once again. If prompted, respond n to the question Shall the new role be allowed to create more new roles? Yes, no. 
We have successfully created the user D space in PostgreSQL. Let us log in as user Postgres. To do so, type the command as shown. Next, we have to create a database named dspace. To do so, type the following command. Type psql space hyphen capital U space postgres space hyphen D space dspace to connect to the database. Next, we have to provide dspace database ownership to user dspace. To do so, type the following command. To grant privileges to user dspace, type the command as shown. The PG Crypto extension allows dspace to create universally unique identifiers for all objects in dspace. We will now add crypto extension to dspace database. So type the command as shown here. Type backslash Q in the terminal to quit the database shell. Type exit in the terminal and press enter to switch back to dspace user. Now we have to allow the database user dspace to connect to the database. To do so we will require root permissions. Type sudo space hyphen i in the terminal. Enter the root user password if prompted. Next, type the following command in the terminal. Type exit in the terminal to switch to the dspace account. Lastly, we have to restart the PostgreSQL server once again. To do so, type the command as shown here. Now, we will set up file creation permissions for dspace. To do so, type sudo space gedit space dollar in capital home forward slash dot bash rc. You can open this file in any text editor of your choice. Bash rc file opens in the text editor. Scroll to the end of the file. Type umask space 002. umask space 002 sets default directory permissions to 775 and default file permissions to 664. Now save and close the file. Finally, restart the system to flush umask 002 type permissions. To do so, type sudo space reboot in the terminal. This will restart your computer. With this, we have successfully configured the database and Tomcat server to install dspace. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned to install Java, Tomcat 8, PostgreSQL 10, Ant, Maven and Git. Configure Tomcat 8 server and create dspace database in PostgreSQL 10. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. The Spoken Tutorial project will ensure an answer. You will have to register to ask questions. The Spoken Tutorial forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, you can use these discussions as instructional material. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. DSpace Spoken Tutorial Series 
is funded by the National Virtual Library of India, Ministry of Culture, Government of India. This script and video for this tutorial was contributed by Pankaj Patil from IIT Bombay. And this is Nancy Verkey signing off. Thanks for joining.